Okie dokie, for question number one, your goal is to calculate the number of possible starting hand combinations. You have a deck size or total number of cards listed in cell C4, and the starting hand size or number of cards that will make up each starting hand is listed in cell C5. So to calculate the number of possible starting hand combinations, all you have to do is select cell F4, and then enter equals, and then the combin function. This function will do all of the hard math for you. For the first argument, you just need to select the total number of items, so you select cell C4. And then for the second argument, you just have to select the number of items that will make up each combination, so you select cell C5. And once you add a closing parenthesis and press enter, you get back the total number of possible combinations. Awesome. Let's move on to question two. For question two, your task is to calculate the total number of units sold rounded to the nearest 10, such as 550, 560, etc. To complete question two, select cell F5 and enter the following formula. Equals round function sum function, and then select the numbers that you want to sum in cells D5 through D18. You can then close parentheses for the sum function. Now for the second argument of the round function, you want to round to the nearest 10, so you make this argument a negative 1. You can then close parentheses and press enter, and just like that, you get back the total number of units sold rounded to the nearest 10. The sum function adds up all the numbers, and then the round function takes that result and rounds it to the nearest 10. Fantastic. Let's move on to question number three. For question three, you simply have to calculate the total revenue using the data supplied below. To pull this off, you need to multiply the units sold by the revenue per unit sold for each individual product. This will give you the total revenue for each product, so you will then have to add up all of those numbers. Luckily, we can use the sum product function to perform all of these calculations in one go. So selecting cell G5, enter the formula equals sum product function, and for the first argument, select the range D5 through D18. Now for the second argument, select the range E5 through E18. You can then close parentheses and press enter. The sum product function then multiplies each number from the first range with the number in the same position from the second range. For example, 57 will be multiplied with 1, 23 will be multiplied with 9, and so on and so forth. The sum product function then takes all of those calculated results and adds them all together. As a result, you get back the overall total revenue. Awesome. Let's move on to question number four. For question four, your goal is to calculate the total revenue for category A products that have sold more than 35 units. To solve this question, I recommend using the sum ifs function. This function will allow you to sum only those numbers that meet the conditions specified in the question. So, selecting cell G5, enter the formula equals sum ifs function, and for the first argument, you need to select the numbers that will be added up. So, select the range E5 through E18, which contains all of the total revenue numbers. Now, for the second argument, you want to specify the first criteria range. So, select C5 through C18. For the third argument, you are testing to see which cells in C5 through C18 contain category A. So type in quotation mark, category A, quotation mark. Now for the fourth argument, select the second range to be tested, which is D5 through D18. And for the last argument, enter in quotation mark, greater than symbol, 35, and quotation mark. This statement will test to see which values in D5 through D18 are greater than 35. You can now close parentheses and press enter. 
and you get back the total revenue for category A products that have sold more than 35 units. And that officially completes your fourth question and your eighth spreadsheet life Excel challenge. Thank <laughs> you.